this will make you feel better, although his uh, his voice fell on only a handful of ears in the same debate, cut number 12, Sonia and Chris, in the same debate, uh, Senator Rand Paul making the opposite argument. So I, for one, think that the American people are opposed to this bill. I think they're opposed to the concept of Ukraine first and America last. And I predict that this issue doesn't go away. I predict that the House of Representatives is not going to take up this bill. I predict that the vast majority of the Republicans in the House of Representatives are more conservative than the Republicans in this, in this body. And I predict that this fight is not over. During this debate, and the fact that we were able to delay and talk about this for five days, five and a half days, the Speaker of the House spoke out. And I don't know that he would have been prompted to speak out, although he has spoken out previously against this, but the Speaker of the House spoke out today and said he's not taking this bill up. See, they've put together border reform that actually would transform things, border reform that acknowledges that it's an emergency. So I will be a no and continue to be a no on this bill because I think it puts a Ukraine first and America last. Worse than putting Ukraine first and America last because of their deplorable uh, military situation, the, the, the paucity of troops that they have, a uh, commanding general whose own troops uh, refer to him as a butcher, the political instability in Kiev, the cancellation of the uh, elections next year. I mean, where is this going to go? But Rand Paul, Senator Paul, and his Kentucky colleague in the House, Congressman Massey, introduced legislation to have them the funds scrutinized by an inspector general. Never came up for a vote. Right. Why? Why should it, Judge? It's not like we have the experience of the last however many decades of the global war on terror, the Iraq wars, the Afghan wars, you know, the fact that the Pentagon has never passed an audit. I mean, why should, why should we have an inspector general? Right. I mean, like the, 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 uh, you know, I brought up before about those 45 house Democrats who voted against their white house and for Israel. And we're seeing the same thing occur here. We're getting really getting the questions that I never really thought I'd be addressing uh, you know, publicly like this about the actual allegiance of our members of Congress, it, you know, because now we have Democrats in the House because the threat to Speaker Johnson is that if he lets this bill go forward in the House, the conservatives who brought down Speaker McCarthy are going to bring him down. And as you remember, you know, four months ago when that happened, the Democrats let Speaker McCarthy fall. They, they didn't uh, they didn't intervene, which I think was a strategic mistake on the Democrats part. But and as they're now they've got Speaker Johnson, um, they are now saying that we'll support Speaker Johnson. So Adam Smith, the ranking member of the House Armed Services Committee and other Democrats have said, look, if 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 uh, Speaker Johnson brings forward this bill to support Ukraine, we will keep him in power. So now you've got the House Democrats saying we will keep the Republican Speaker of of, 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 of the House in power in order to make sure these tens of billions of dollars goes to the most corrupt government in Europe to support this unwinnable war that has just brought about a massive amount of suffering and destruction and has brought us to the brink of an apocalyptic third world war possibly. We're gonna support the Republicans and keep this Republican Speaker of the House in power to make sure Ukraine gets its $60 billion. I mean, you have to, you have to look at that and say, my God, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in my life. And you have to question the allegiance of these members of Congress that take so much money, but also too, who have dual loyalty and who show up in the halls of Congress, like Brian Mast did, wearing the uniform of another nation's military. Uh. I mean, so we're getting to very fundamental things here, Judge, about how we're being governed, and who we're being governed, that things that I've not seen in my lifetime in terms of, 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 of questioning the allegiance of these people. Yes, we have a, a system of, 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 of legalized bribery uh, that is our political system, but this goes even beyond that.